Hello and welcome to another Van Hack success case. I'm Ilya and today I'm joined with Andre, who is working at Bidvine in Waterloo. Hey Andre, how you doing? Hello, I'm good and you? Hello <laughs> guys from Van Hack. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here in Canada in Van Hack. Yeah. I, I like to say for everyone that is it's a good accomplishment. It was tough. It was difficult to be here. But when you start to work, the things are going better. And it was great. It was a victory for us. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. yeah, Andre, your story is really, is really awesome. But let's, so let's start in the beginning. Uh, tell us, you know, where you're from, uh, your, your professional background, a little bit about your history. So I'm from Rio de Janeiro. And I lived uh, close to Tijuca, so I think that a lot of uh, Van Hackers uh, knows the, this region. This yeah. region, and I, I studied at uh, Puki Rio University, and after that, I I stayed for many years uh, working at tech graph company in, in the university. So there I worked with C Sharp development, Java, Android, and all the the work is related with Petrobras company. It's a big um, gas oil company there in Brazil. I think awesome. you know that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, so cool. So then uh, you're living in Rio, you have a nice job yeah. as a programmer uh, there. Yeah. What made you want to move to Canada and how was that yeah. transition? My my life was it was it was great in, uh, great and I, my salary was, was good everything for for who lives in Rio de Janeiro my life is good but I I am seeking for something more in my in my life because um, I didn't like the what everyone uh, say uh, the violence and the traffic every day for work and home um all days the same stuff and i didn't see my professional skills improving my my working is not uh, because people is, is start to entering crisis so a lot of are uh, losing your jobs so i think it was a great time to start to uh, move to, to another I'm challenging in my life. Awesome, awesome. So, how, how did you how did you decide to do that? How much time did you spend researching? And particularly, why did you choose Waterloo uh, as a destination? Yeah. Yeah, for, I started to 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 search about the, um, Canada about one year and a half, two years, two years now, mm -hmm. and so YouTube and see a lot of channels related with Canada, Brazilians there. Mm -hmm. And a lot of study about immigration, about express entry, how to be here um, before they get a permanent resident, permanent residence. So my wife needs to study and me to work. And after this time, we, we, we our first and main um, plan is stealing. So we we to be here you need to have a lot of money because when you convert reais to two dollars can dollars you lose a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So it was the most difficult thing. The second is to sell everything and prepare your family to to be prepared psychologically uh, to know you are living from the, the from the the country so i think it's that okay cool and, and so why waterloo so um the first thing that we searched was about uh, college so if i pay for college i will spend uh fifteen dollar fifteen thousand dollars per term i think already i think it's fifteen thousand dollars per per term it's what three uh, three terms per year um, so if you um, um, have the opportunity on a master degree or a doctoral degree, 
uh, we will save more money because we don't need to pay the the master degree or the, in the teacher. So we we contact um, um, a teacher at Un um, University of Waterloo, and I have a, a teach uh, a teacher in Brazil that was uh, in Waterloo uh, uh, before mm -hmm. and have contact. So my wife uh, speaking with this, this teacher and was invited to to go to, uh, and and learn about the university and go there. We the last year we, we went there and stay for four for four days yeah. <laughs> and talk with the teacher. And after that, uh, she got an invitation to apply. So we are in Waterloo for more because the University of Waterloo and the PhD of my wife. Nice. That's a, it's a good reason and it worked out really yes. well. You save money on college yeah. and then also it's a great city for startups and technology, right? The first idea was in Toronto because it's the, the closest city for if you compare with uh, Rio de Janeiro because it has a flight directly from Rio de Janeiro to, to Toronto. But the problem is the snow and the difficulty with the winter. I know that Vancouver is a good place to do, but yeah. uh, it's more difficult to get two flights to Rio, uh, Vancouver, Toronto, Tor Toronto, Rio de Janeiro. So, and, and we have a, a friend that already uh, is living in, in Toronto. So we have the, uh, a place to stay. Mm -hmm. but why uh, uh, a better option for, for us cool cool awesome so that, that that's a great it's a great city for anyone watching here never heard of it google waterloo kitchener waterloo it's a amazing place for technology companies right yeah it's another thing is the waterloo it's a farm city mm -hmm. and, and what a farm city with a big university and the university adapt the the startups and companies uh, technology companies so uh, it's happened because the we have a lot of opportunities with technology here in Waterloo. Definitely. Awesome. So let's get to it. You, you got a job at one of those technology companies. Tell me, how did that work? How did the process of getting a job work? Um, you know, what was your interview process like? How did you apply? Everything like that. Uh, I searched and at websites like that, uh, Waterloo Tech Jobs, Indeed, Monster.ca, and uh, I, uh, more two websites and... I think I tried to 35 jobs opportunities like that. Mm -hmm. 35 opportunities. I received uh, 11 or 12 response back and I was in seven interviews, I think personal interviews. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so what about the one that, that hired you? How was that one? That one, uh, it started first, um, uh, with, um, Technical interview. I think the the most important thing is the technical interview. Mm. So it was uh, related with algorithms and uh, two questions. And after that, I I I, I talked with the the manager, and the manager liked me. And if in after one week, he invited me to to work there. Nice, awesome. Uh, but, any questions they ask you that was that were interesting or any any uh, All the interview was very different. So some, some interviews, if it's web related, like front end development, uh, they ask you to do a little, a little um, work, a, a little task, a, a challenge to, the, uh, to give you from the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, do a notebook, a notebook using Ember and Node.js and publishing in Heroku. And you have four days to do that. After this, uh, you 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 go for a human resource interview, and after the human resource interview, you have the the present interview. In the present interview, normally they ask about your background, everything about you, and maybe they can ask some technical questions again. Nice, awesome, awesome, and. Uh... Were there any funny questions or things that you you know, remember that were kind of unique? For me, the most difficult question is um, when the guy asks you three, four questions, normal questions, 
um, the, the the last question they, they need to uh, they ask something like um, do you have any other question for us do you know <laughs> relate uh, like uh, do question for me they they ask me yeah and this was the the most difficult questions it, like uh, I'm not sure that I will hire you so I'm I'm in doubt so I need to talk more about mm. uh, what your interest in this company or something like that yeah when when, so, when they ask you to ask them questions the kind of reverse question <laughs> yeah so I, I answered uh, like how how is your day uh, how, how work your day the daily and then, about what what do you do at your day or something like that related cool. with this. But cool. nice. Nice to... I have difficult with these questions, kinds of questions. Yeah, definitely. It's always hard to yeah. think of something at the you know on the spot. Cool. Awesome. Well, um, how, how about uh, you know Van Hack? Maybe talk a little bit about your experience with with the, the, the premium uh, area. How was that? And any any anything you can say about that? The interview brought helped me a lot, and I know that not. Not everyone are going. Not everyone that is premium are participating from the interview. <laughs> yeah. I see a lot of people are with avoiding these interviews, but and one thing I, I need to say for for everyone that you need to practice, you need to talk in English. You can't have, uh, have. I don't have a good English, for example. I I saw a lot of people better than me in the hack with better English. But you can't be uh, uh, shy, yeah. and you need to try. You need to talk, and, and because if you do that, this, you you will not get the job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I have difficult today in my job to talk in English, and the people there know that, and I'm trying to do my best to improve. No, I'm sure your yeah. your English is, is always so, getting better, right? Yes, and the interview press helped me a lot uh, to do like be. Uh, uh, do, uh, say a headline, say a few words first, and try to put the context first, and after you can explain more. But uh, because you need to, to make the focus, and don't lo lose the focus of the person. Mm -hmm. uh, this helped me a lot. A lot of things that helped me is, I know that Van Hack uh, has more um, contacts with Toronto and, and, and Vancouver. So I have more. I think I have more difficulty here in Waterloo compared to with another big cities. So it helped me with uh, contacting uh, with two two major companies here: that's Stomach Labs and uh, Shopify and ClearPath and another another the companies here. Cool. Yeah. And this network. way can help me help me a lot. I like. I, I know that now that everyone here uses Slack, Slack, Slack for all companies. Yeah, yeah, it's a Canadian company. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great, great. Awesome, awesome, Andre. So this has been really, really great. Uh, you've shared yeah. so much great information with people. Uh, congrats on your new job as an Android, Android developer, right, at Bitvine. And um, I wish you all the best. Hopefully, we can meet one day when I go out to to to, to Waterloo, and, and uh, we can have a, mm -hmm. have a coffee and chat more. So. Congratulations one more time, and uh, yeah, good good luck. Actually, I, I should ask you quickly. It's been one week since you've been working. How is that going? Are you enjoying? It's tough, or how is that? It's tough uh, because I was hired for do Android development, mm -hmm. and I'm now I'm starting uh, with front end development using Ember and Ember and CoffeeScript. Nice. So I, I don't, uh, I'm learning now this so was difficult for me to understand but I'm I mean I did already two two tasks today. I started my first day with a, a sprint a sprint review, sprint planning, daily meeting. So it was very difficult to understand the nature of the company in the first week. But I, I think that the second week will be better. It will be better than the first one. Awesome. Well that's good. That's how we learn fast. So congrats on yeah. that. That's that's very exciting. Great stuff, Andre. Uh, congrats again, and uh, yeah, all the best in this new position and your new new stage in life. And more one thing that you helped me a lot. You have um, always that I send you a message. You you answer. Thank you for you reply fast as soon as possible. 
always your presence is important for everyone. Uh, hey, it's, it's, yeah. it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Even if, you know, Friday night, 11 p.m., it's <laughs> no, yeah. no, no matter what. <laughs> it's, 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 it's what I love to do. So Very important. Happy to help. Yeah. Awesome. Cool, Andre. Well, congrats again. And yeah, we'll, we'll talk in Slack. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Have Cheers. a great day. Bye.